Okay, it's just before nine o'clock and um, we're getting close to the, the Bay of Caves, Cave Bay. And if you stick to the high end of the rocks, close to the vegetation up the cliff, we'll come to a big rock. And as you walk around towards the back side, you come across a certain formation which some of us lovingly referred to as the anvil. There you go. I hope that's clear enough. It's a protrusion from the side of the rock and it's quite um, peculiar and unique. It's one of the landmarks that you can look out for. And then walking around the back of the rock. Come into a little gully. spring low tide it is possible to find your way almost anywhere over the rocks but when the water level is a little bit higher you might want to stick closer to the high end of the rocks closer to the vegetation and it is possible to find your way like that as well And here we get to our first big cave. There's one on the left hand side goes in for about 15 or 20 meters I guess. You have to climb up those stairs over there. Here are the stairs. Going to the top floor, second story. And I don't know if you can see it, but we've got little critters running all over the rocks. That's the way out. How far does that go? About 15 or 20 meters at most. Get the flashlights out. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Don't bump your head. Here's the roof. Here's the side. Coming down onto the floor. And that's the end of the cave. That's the floor, that's the wall, coming around, and that's going outside. Right. Still just past nine, coming down from the stairs out of that first cave, and up 
empty little spot that we call the window. Oh yeah, there, there might be some bats in the caves. Um, there is one big cave which is relatively inaccessible, which we call the bat cave, and it's full of bats, hundreds and hundreds of them. This is the window. Climb up here. It's fairly easy going. I'm doing it without hands. Uh, climbing through the window, going down the other side. And that's the window. This is a bigger cave. Goes a little bit more, a little bit further, farther. Don't bump your head. I'm going as far as I can. As far as I can go comfortably. I can't, I can't see it. All right. Okay. Here. Oh, that's just me. Bump my backpack. Here's a bat. <laughs> or a bird. <laughs> I hope I got that on camera, actually. This is fairly narrow. It's huge. It goes in far, yes. Oh, I can feel something on me. It's the roof. Okay, let's go in here. I think I'm going to take off my backpack. Just a moment. Okay, I've just removed my backpack and I'm going to go a little bit further. It's not very clear on the video that's the roof of the cave it's rather low here we have to crawl oh, oh, don't bump your head says the guy who bumps his head oh. and so cool. oh. there is a tiny little crawl space yeah. but i'm too big to go through there same here Yeah, that's going out. The lighting is a bit dim. But I'm not carry I'm not going to carry a five hundred watt spotlight into this cave. So my little flashlight has to do. It's about ten past nine coming out of those caves. Might be some more caves over here. There we go. And we've got a little garden on the side over here. It does look like a movie set. It's quite spectacular. I don't think I'm going to take the video all the way in. It just gets too dark at the end, but uh, you get the idea. It's, it's quite a nice cave. Oh, and the roof is quite high. There's the garden on the side, and the way out again. It's about quarter past nine, that's the cave that we've just been in. 
going next door to the neighbors. We're not that far behind because the target piece is just over there. Some nice greenery all around here as well. And a little bit of an uphill. That's the view from the front porch. Hmm. Prime real estate, I think. I don't know what made those holes. Probably some moles made the holes for a good game of whack-a-mole. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. We can fit through there, but I'm not too keen to go in. Uh -uh. It goes in quite a way. I guess someone did go through there. Okay. Coming out of the neighbor's cave, um, you can go through that little crevice over there to the main beach. But sometimes the sand is washed out and then there's a lot of water in there and it becomes inaccessible. And then you have to go over the top. Over there. Can we go over the top? Yep, I'm going over the top. There's a bit of scrambling. Okay, right. This is where we're walking, it's right on the ledge. Be careful, don't slip. It is also possible to jump over this gap over here, but I'm generally not too fond of like jumping like that. See, it's easy enough. Well done! Sorry, say again? Yeah, I'll probably have to, but I'm going over the top. Right. There we go. And this is the main beach. If you bring a ball or a frisbee, you can have a pretty good old time. Glentona and the surrounding beaches are not really known as, as the best swimming beaches. There are some quite strong rip currents, rip tides, but if you stay in the shallows you should be okay. And coming around the bend, looking uphill, that is the bat cave. Going uphill, is fairly steep going, coming downhill, 
is even steeper. Coming downhill is more difficult than going uphill. On the other side, the cave is as deep as what this wall is high. And there are hundreds and hundreds of bats in that cave. Do not recommend going in there. Apparently bats carry all kinds of diseases. And next door, there's another cave. We can go in there. Here's a little pool. goes in quite a way, but I'm going to turn the video off now. It's about 25 past 9, moving on from the last cave, here is another cave. This is the last cave I'm going to record today. The reason for that will be revealed shortly. This is known as the Toilet Cave. Because on a camp, this is as this is the best ablution facilities you're probably going to find. Coming around the front door, here we have a little alcove, and that is the toilet. Please bring a stick or a paddle of some kind to, uh, well, you know what to do. And then about once every month at springtide, this little alcove is flushed and ready for the next month's visitors. This cave might be known as the toilet cave, but I've decided also to call it the secret cave. Because this cave has a secret. And because it's a secret, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You will need to find it for yourself. Yeah, it's always fun. Some people think that they, they might not enjoy finding that secret, but then eventually they end up going all the way anyways. Um, so uh, to keep the secret, I'm going to stop the recording here. It's just about 11 o'clock now. We've done a bit of cave crawling and a bit of swimming and exploring, and discovering, and secreting, and all lots of, all, all kinds of fun things. And we're about ready to go back home again. Going towards the west, that way. It's about half past 11. We've taken a nice leisurely stroll back from the caves. Here is the first of our party arriving. This is on the main beach, turning around. And we're about 10 minutes away from home. We should be back around lunchtime. 